not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and mother. And he said, all these I have observed from my youth. And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, said to him, one thing you still lack, sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when he heard this, he became sad, for he was very rich. And Jesus, looking at him, said, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? But he said, What is impossible with men is possible with God. Christian Church offers example after example of saints who have lived uh, throughout the history of the church uh, who have um, done everything, have uh, sold all their possessions, have given everything, um, have given their lives, have given their souls to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And this week, um, we commemorate uh, a recent saint who was, uh, who was martyred in 1979 um, in Palestine, in Israel, at uh, Jacob's well, uh, where Christ encountered the Samaritan woman, St. Fotini. And I want to share with you a little uh, about this uh, saint who we commemorate this week on November 29th, uh, St. Philumenos. Uh, so I'll read here. At Jacob's well in Samaria, called Nablus today, there was a priest monk named Philumenos, a native of Cyprus. And Father Philumenos, at 14 years of age, left his home the home of his parents, and entered into the monastic life with his brother, Elpidios. Inspired by the faith, piety, and knowledge of their grandmother and mother, the two brothers expressed a special zeal for the holy life in the Orthodox Christian Church. The brothers completed their studies in Jerusalem, and in 1939 both served the local communities there, serving the holy services and liturgies as priests. Archimandre Elpidios eventually left for Mount Athos, while his brother, Father Philumenos, stayed uh, in Palestine, having developed a deep sense of love and affection for his new uh, home and the Orthodox faithful there. Father Philumenos studied despite many obstacles. He, he learned the language of the people and became a beacon of Orthodoxy for all in the region. He served wherever he was needed and inspired the faithful to remain true to their faith despite uh, the, the challenges that they were facing from uh, Protestant missionaries from America uh, who were trying to use money to convert the Orthodox there or from fanatical uh, uh, Islamic uh, uh, threats and this kind of thing. His spiritual son, monk Yehegia, noted about his spiritual father, he was sent as a true defender of the faith, a man of more than blameless life, a man from whom no one could even imagine any immodest or improper word a man whose faith and integrity were a model for all. And thinking about this morning's gospel reading and what our Lord tells this man who was saddened at hearing that he must do certain things, uh, St. Philumenos, as we see, was somebody who with joy followed our Lord. A defender of the faith, a defender of the tomb, a man of true and genuine Christian peace and joy, a man who was a good shepherd to the faithful, a man who lived in constant and utter prayer, a man who suffered with the suffering and hope in our Lord, a man so spoken in nature, yet roaring like a lion from his heart. In 1979, Father Philumenos, like a soldier sent to hold a lion at all costs, with his cross icons and gomeskini in hand, was appointed to the guardianship of the holy site of Jacob's well as the Iguminos, or the abbot of the monastery there. The same well where our Lord would speak with the Samaritan woman, Saint Fotini, 
Shortly thereafter, Philumenos' appointment, after his uh, appointment there, a group of fanatical Zionists viciously demanded that Philumenos remove and destroy all the crosses, icons, and liturgical items, claiming that this was a Jewish holy place. This, of course, was out of the question for this monk of the Phila Gestapo, which the Phila Gestapo uh, means the defender of the tomb, and the monks that are in uh, the, Pal the Palestine, the Holy Land area, um, they're called the Phila Gestapo, the defenders of the tomb, because they go and they protect all the different sites um, that have been passed down from generation uh, in the Orthodox uh, uh, faith. After a few days on November 29, 1979, during a great storm, as the monk priest Philumenos was praying Vespers while wearing his holy petrachili, the fanatical, demon-possessed Zionist slaughtered the humble and soft-spoken priest with a hatchet, striking Philumenos in the head with a vertical and horizontal blow. The deviant perpetrators with venom, who sought to destroy the cross, yet unknowingly created another cross etched in the skull of Saint Philumenos. As if this torture was not enough, they too hacked the holy fragrant right hand of the saint so as to forever prevent him from blessing in the sign of the cross and to, to make him renounce his holy orthodox Christian faith, faith, which of course he did not do. Both Saint Fotini and Saint Philumenos drank this living water which Christ offers to us. In such a way they were able to perform superhuman feats, not according to their, their will, but through the grace of, of God. What seems impossible with men, of course, with God is possible, as we hear in Scripture. May we too be immersed in such waters, strengthening to hold the line of our faith at all costs. The cloud of martyrs was not limited to the early centuries of Christianity, or to some specific region or time period, but continues even unto today. The sly and true deception of the evil one continues to captivate and ensnare many. Let us be on guard, guard and be vigilant always, manning the barricades and walls of our hearts, keeping true to our holy orthodox faith for liturgical services, prayers, and fasts, and life. And may we, when we hear this uh, guidance in this morning's gospel passage, to sell what we have to to follow Christ, uh, what, a small, what a small thing we, ought to, we have to do uh, to, to achieve salvation and to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because of course, as we know, all of this is temporary. All of this is temporary. And all of it is on loan. Um, uh, it's, it's God's anyway. So let us uh, offer glory to God and worship him. Let us uh, remember that all of this stuff, all the things in this world are temporary. Uh, the thing that, that, that is eternal is our love for Christ and our love for one another. So let us, with that in mind, move forward in our life and, and continue in our spiritual journey always and forever. Amen. Thank you.